Hello everyone, welcome to Redline Collectibles. <laughs> you know, today I'm going to do a little bit different content, and that is going to be a, um, a little collection that I purchased uh, over the weekend, but I also wanted to show you the contents of this box that has the cars in them. This is a, uh, a Bob Ross theme. Um, happy little trees <laughs> on one side. And then the uh, the joy of painting, of course. You remember Bob back from the day. And this uh, this was a, a gift that I had received while we were out of town um, to uh, from a beautiful couple. I'll just use their first names, uh, Tracy and Douglas. Super people, great friends and guests that uh, enjoy collecting die-cast toys. And they were so generous to... Uh, sent me the surprise gift uh I went down to the to the area the hotel that we were staying at and there was a big box there i was like what in the world <laughs> and sure enough they had been so thoughtful and picked up that that bob ross painting or bob met um lunchbox so i wanted to show you i had alluded to in my previous video a collection that um i found just this past weekend and I'll share this with you now. So I've got the spinners going, and let's take a peek together on this beautiful set of Matchbox toys. I sure hope you enjoy the content. Um, it's not gonna be red lines, but it's gonna be something that I think, you know, all of us came up, uh, at least the baby boomers, you know, from an era of collecting and uh, loving these toys. Now, this record, number 13 here, that's a really brings back some fond memories for me personally. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, there, we lived out in the country, and the closest place was like 20-something miles away in Wauwatosa at a place called uh, Mayfair. And they, they were the ones that I only sold um, Matchbox. And so um, every once in a while, I mean every once in a while, not often, but um, we would go up there, my mom would drive up, and I'd get an opportunity. And uh, the Wrecker was one of them. The uh, Fire Chief was another. The Mustang with the uh, pivoting wheels was another. Um, I didn't have the um, the Mercedes here. Um, I love the blue little, very subtle dome on the top there. That was really cool. These Badgers, by the way, these are Rollomatics. And it's the black uh, radar variation and the uh, the, the vanilla or... or uh, or white uh, radar. <laughs> oh yeah, hours and hours of playtime with Matchbox. How about you? Are you a Matchbox person? I tell you what, there are so many cool things with the toys. You know the moving parts. Just love these things. You know, and I really just enjoyed the hours of pastime playing with and imagining you know what these uh what these toys would mean you know like in real life like you were out in the on the job site or in the mine here's a um one that came with it. it's got a crack a little crack there in the roof but this is a little bit later on in like 1979 but it's a firebird i thought it was kind of cool kind of came along for the ride <laughs> so to speak along with that is the wild thing uh or the wild cat whatever you want to call it and that is the Mustang. This was a 1970. I think what was going on at the time is that there was competition, of course, from the Mattel Toy Company. And uh, the response from, from the Lesney Company was the, what they call the super fast, right? You had to create something that's gonna grow, go down the track quickly. And uh, well, they tried, but we all know the end of the story there, right? I mean, and the Top Toy Company just really, really were on their game. But you know what? There was a select era of time with Leslie uh, Matchbox. And one of my favorites was the Taxi. Uh, the white interior variation versus the red interior. I think I've got a red one in here, too. The, the Chevy Impala. I think I've got the red one in, in red interior, as I mentioned. Let me see if I can find that here. Where are you? Well, let's just go down and dig down to the to the bottom of the of the lunch box here. This box, box, box. <laughs> and uh, here's a little bit later on. This is super fast as well. 
and that is the 1970-ish Mercury, does it say uh, 73? No, that's the number 73. That's a decent one. Nice dome on there. Decent tampos. I should say stickers. That's a nice Mercury, huh? That's a fun car. I'll put him up there. Good shine on that one. And this one, that uh, the Jeep, you know, these are, these are tough because they the wheels are always falling off of these things. You gotta really be careful. And what this kid did, the former collector, is he marked it. It's got an S on there. This is this is Sam's. <laughs> yeah. That's a fun little casting, isn't it? I like that one too. I like yellow. Yellow's fun. I'll put him right here. There we go. What happened to Bob? Ever make mistakes? No. Okay. Next up, you know what? There's a Hot Wheels in here. What the heck? So there's one Hot Wheels that was in the in the bunch too. Who knows why? But uh, this is the Sheriff. Looks like a Ford, right? That's what this one was. Malaysia. It's got a unique shade of uh, spray paint on there. I don't know what that paint is. Well then, uh, of course, I remember the coach. No number 66. Greyhound. Different colors of glass. This one happens to have the um, the yellow shade of glass. I think there's a blue one as well. If I'm not mistaken. I'll put that up there. Let's see. Oh, you know what? This one popped on. It was in the collection as well. I can't get the roof to pop back in, but it's a, um, what do they call this thing? The Husky? Looks like the uh, old James Bond, right? I can't get the, the hatch to, to go all the way down. I can only get it to go like, it'll stay that far, but it won't go all the way down. And then of course the, the trigger mechanisms on the side here, this little red, little red plunger that pops them up and then throws the, uh, the passenger out the car. <laughs> Remember those James Bond movies? They were fun, huh? Bond, yeah, James Bond. Okay, moving right along. What else lurks? Oh, this is that the Galaxy 500. This is the the police um, fire chief, yeah, or fire chief, I should say. Yeah, these are Galaxy. That's a fun little. That's a fun little casting right there. I'll clean him up a little bit. Get him into the fold. See, I'll put him right here. Yeah. Uh, what else? Yeah. Oh, the opals. Yeah, these are fun. The opals with the, the front bonnet open up in the front there. I should say the hood for the engine. That was fun. <laughs> Looks like someone chewed off the uh, chewed off the hook on the back. There's a big piece of paper inside there. <laughs> Look at that. Who knows? I don't want to speculate. <laughs> uh, oh, here's the red Impala. So this is the complement, the interior that I was talking about earlier, uh, the taxi. So look at the different shades of color here. This is pretty cool. You got um, a little bit darker yellow here, a little bit light yellow here, and then, of course, the interiors is the um, the white versus the red interiors on those two little those two little castings? That's fun. Taxis. What a cool era, huh? Oops, I moved that camera. Sorry about that. I'll put the other taxi right over here. Two taxis. Okay. Couple more. Oh, this is the Zephyr, the Ford Zephyr. This is a tiny little, a tiny little fun casting. The Zephyr in this uh, unique shade of uh, turquoise. Pretty clean. Great little car. Oh, what what tumbled down? Oh, the 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 coach went bye bye. <laughs> All right, I'll put him on the side. Put the Zephyr up there. Pick up the coach. 
We had a tumble from the, uh, well, the record took a tumble. Uh, what else? What else is in here? Uh, what are you? Oh, here's another fire. Right, we have two fire Galaxy 500s. Arashibi. Or Galaxy number 59. I'm having all kinds of tumbles going on here. Uh-oh, there goes a James Bond. <laughs> Put him down here. <laughs> the Wildcat took a the Wildcat took a tumble. Get over there. I'll put this galaxy here. This one has a hitch. Still intact. What? I have three of them? I didn't realize that. Holy cow. So I'll put him over here. If you have uh, any interest in buying any of these cars, let me know. I'm, I'm, uh, I like to, we ship around the world. Um, I use United States Postal Service, that I whatever you're looking for. But I'm happy to ship these cars to you if you have any interest in purchasing. Uh, I'll work with you. I'll work with you on that. I pretty much deal with uh, just about any nice, uh, any nice, decent looking red lines and or matchbox. And I couldn't pass up this collection when I saw it. So, that's why we have it today. Because I had a hard time saying no. But if you're interested, let me know. I'm, I'm, I'll work with you, like I said, to uh, get any of these uh, these castings into your hands. I don't know if I'm going to go to auction with these. So probably just going to sell these right, uh, right from my site here. So you have uh, in the comments section, if you're interested in any of these, go ahead and write a comment in there and say which casting you'd like, where you're located. And I'm happy to work with you on that and getting those in your hands. I'm, I'm pretty flexible, so pretty flexible. I'm not going to put these on our website called Redline Collectibles because I keep that site pretty much just for Redline, uh, Hot Wheel Redline cars. I don't want to mix and mix up, uh, mix and match other uh, other castings on our site on our Redline site. But like I said, uh, shoot me a. This is an Austin, isn't it? Yeah, an A95. I'll be darned. How did that sneak in there? Huh, there's a relic, huh? What a cool little casting. That's a fun one. What else? Oh, another record. So there's a couple of records for sale. Come on. There we go. Oh, that's, that's pretty clean. Oh, number 13. Hook is still there. Look at that. A couple of wreckers. Let's put this together here. You know, I know someone that collects wreckers. He's got uh, like 60, 70, and something else. There's a Lang. Again, the dumper action. Really a lot of fun. That's a cool looking car. I should say truck. Cool truck. What do we have? One more? Two more? Two more. Get this big box out of here. Get the lunch box out. Thank you, Tracy and, and Doug. Again, your generosity. We appreciate it. Oh, here's another coach. <laughs> so this also is the um, the yellow glass. So there's two yellow glasses here. One's a little more silver than the other. Coach. Put me in, Coach. And the last one for this brief video on Matchbox is uh, a Jeep, and the tire is in the plastic bag. Yeah, beware, you're going to lose your tire. This one doesn't have an S on it. <laughs> so, nice little Jeep. Decent. And uh, ready to rock and roll into someone's collection. I do give the video a like and subscribe if you are not already subscribed thumbs up if you could I really appreciate it there is the tally for today uh, always enjoy your comments uh, give me a shout if you're interested in any of these uh, particular toys for uh, I have them all for sale 
and I'll work with you. Like I say, we ship around the world, so no problem there whatsoever. Until we meet again, bye everybody.